Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14 and welcome back to more The World of Magic. Last time we made it to the Ancient Palace, I talked about the enemies, the enemy analysis, and various things like that. So, this time, we're actually going to spend this video actually, you know, fighting for the entire video like I usually do. You know, after an analysis, I'm like, I still need to do an entire video for fighting, you know, so, so you actually see all the combat, you know, not just half of the video or, you know, one third of the video or something like that. So yeah. Here I go with that. Fighting sky bats and iPods, nothing like that. So we are at well we're we're at approximately one third of the video I mean of the video one third of level twenty-four. So pretty good I guess. Pretty good progress. Now um well, let's see, with um the last video that we actually leveled up with and made it to twenty-four was I'm trying to remember which video it was. Was it like seventy four or something? I think it was part 74 if I, remember, if I remember correctly, but I don't really know too much. But yeah, anyways, I got this right here, the alloy ring. That was in between because as you know, I I mean, if you couldn't already tell, I fought in between a bit. And yeah, I just used a Kui doll because, um, well, you know, it just makes sense. Have some more power overall, kill enemies faster. Gives you the sensation of just killing enemies faster. Feels a lot better. Yeah. We got the alloy ring. Unfortunately, it was a one critical alloy ring, so uh, you know, not worth too much. It's not. There's a huge difference between a one and a two critical, or hell, a three critical. Holy crap, that one, that's a lot. But yeah, it really is. Oh well, it's still some money though, because I'm not going to be using that. People say that two dexterity is better than one critical in general, so it makes sense to keep my ring of soul. And I will be keeping it, I will. Yeah, so, um, usually it's better to fight iPods because they actually have a chance to drop the alloy rings, like I just said. Whereas Skybats don't really have anything good. They don't. I mean, they drop Skybat wings, which is useless as of now because... Let me just tell you something. The Sky Castle update. That was on 2012. I think it was late 2012. And since then, ever since that day, they still haven't like actually finished this they haven't the simple reason the simple reason why as to that has happened or why as to they haven't done that is because there's a lot of items like there, there were a lot of new items introduced when sky castle came and yeah some comments actually did say that because i didn't really talk about that you know about the the ancient I mean, like you know i just said that the ancient palace was the only place that had new enemies but i didn't really say new items, which which is true, there's a lot of new items, which is sky bat wings, nuts, uh, bolts, um, what else is it? There's a lot, there's a lot of stuff, okay, element crystals and various other stuff, but yeah, so they made this because I guess the intention was that, you know, new items, so you can actually craft some new stuff, they would make new weapons and armor and, you know, stuff like that, so that these things would be basically, you know, materials for going to an NPC and crafting the thing and making the weapon and armor or something. And it's a good idea, you know, to keep making more new stuff, you know, that's how you make the game better and not boring anymore for people who have played the game a long time, as in years, as in much more time than me, you know? So, it was a good idea from the beginning, but it is now, early to mid-2014, and people are like, what the hell is wrong with these people? It's been like a year and a half or something and they still have done nothing for the items like literally nothing so i don't understand i really don't get it what the hell they're doing are they really that slow on making something because if anything if that's true that means that for them to actually make the sky castle they probably planned it from the beginning when, when the game was first released in 2010 oh my god when the game was released they're like okay we, we gotta make a new map and it took them until the end of 2012 to release it. It took them almost three years to do that. Or like two and a half. Because it makes sense to, oh my god, if, if they're really still planning stuff, can you imagine how long it actually took them to make a new map? The whole Sky Castle? Holy crap. A lot of time. A lot of time. And yeah, so... I don't know. I just don't know. I mean... I don't know what to say about that. They just... It's a good idea, you know, all these new stuff, they gotta have some purpose because for the ones in the Wingfro Island or in Osha Continent, there's barely any items that have no purpose. For example, I'll name a couple. Seeds. You know, the ones that flower elementals drop. Seeds do absolutely nothing in this game. I'm not talking about mystic seeds, I'm talking about seeds. That's one example. The normal seeds. 
Um, there is also, let's see, I'm not sure if the wild boar barbecue does something. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Something tells me that they do have a use, but something also tells me that they don't. Oh, I'm trying to think if they do have at least one use. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that one. But anyways, other one. Dried soil. That's right. The dried soil that the, what are they called? The, oh my god, Sandman. That the Sandman can drop. Those have no, nothing. Unknown soil. Those have no purpose. Although I'm not complaining with unknown soils because they're worth 250 each. It's the same price as a red coral or mystic oil. So it's still pretty damn good getting those and just selling them even if they have no purpose. So that's good. Um, but yeah. Those are just some examples of some items that don't have a purpose. There's also, I think, um, let's see, Gosumi Spine. That one's only found in, I believe, a desert valley. Most likely Cirrus people will get that, you know, instead of Lano's people. But yeah, that's another example. Um, and there's some here and there, but overall there's not a lot. But it's never been as to, you know, a completely new map like this one, you know, that they make all these new enemies, all these new items, but just nothing happens like I, I don't I don't understand I don't get it I don't know I don't oh well though oh well I mean there's not really much else to say but yeah you know fighting iPods here as I already said now even though fighting iPods is you know like I said better for that lowering I don't know if being three levels under them with only four hit rate is such a good idea I mean I'm not it's not taking me forever to kill them it's really not but the misses, the occasional misses here and there, kind of, they're like, oh, should I be fighting sky bats instead? You know, enemies two levels higher than me? I don't know. I really don't know. So, yeah, and the other enemies, of course, are tornadoes, which I just talked about the, in the enemy analysis in the last part. Yeah, tornadoes is are just, um, they're, they're level 20 enemies, plus they seem to move a bit faster than these two enemies, although I'm not entirely sure on that. To me, it seems that iPods move slightly faster than, than uh, Skybats, and then Tornadoes move even faster than, than iPods, so... I don't know, I'm not really entirely sure on that, but that's kind of what it seems like, and because of that, fighting enemies 4 levels higher than you with only 4 hit rate, in addition to the enemy being faster in movement, it's not a very good idea, which is why I'm not going to be fighting those enemies, no, no. Probably not even at level 25, oh my god, I don't know. But... Yeah, I mean, by the time we're like level 26 or I'll, I'll say 27 for a fact, we're not really going to be fighting here anymore, you know? It makes more sense to just be fighting either in the arid grassland or in the um, western sky castle or eastern sky castle, one of those. So yeah, I don't know. But the reason is because, well, okay, the lighthouse dungeon fifth floor, that's actually, you know, the level 27 is the highest enemy that you can get in there. And I mean, of course we're going to be, you know, going there soon, to the 5th floor, but... Yeah, right there I was using a healing enemy, if you couldn't already guess, I mean, come on, you're watching the video. Anyways, yeah, yeah, you know, the level 27 is the highest enemy in the 5th floor, which is an enemy that has one of my favorite color schemes on it, as I've already mentioned several times in the past. But, then after that, um... I'm trying to think. Yeah, the only places would be the arid grassland... And, wow, really, the Western Sky Castle and the Eastern Sky Castle, because there's really not many other places. There is a Temple of Wingfrill, which has a very wide range of levels, ranging from 21 to 28, I believe. So, yeah, um, about that, a couple of you guys did actually say to, you know, do that, because especially now that I have a free Jomas, I, you know, I got free Jomas Pendant. Yeah, I will be going there, I will. I want to do at least the analysis. And the NPCs in there. I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time in there because the Temple of Wingfrill is a place that is well known for not being a very good place to level up. It's not. Just because the rooms are very clustered together. Um, the spawn times for the enemies are a lot. You know, you got to wait a lot of time for the enemies to respawn. It's just not, it's just overall not good. It's not. Which is why people only go there to really farm the bosses, you know, and try to get the pages, which are worth a lot for the, well, you already know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's um pretty much it about that. Alrighty, so right there you saw a cut. Yeah, a cut. Um, because of course, I mean, do you want to guess why? Do you want to guess why I did that? I mean, come on, it's freaking obvious, but yeah. So let's just go ahead and see what we're going to do in the next video. 
in the next video obviously we're not going to be doing this because it's freaking boring watching the same thing you know being just pure repetitiveness I'm not going to be doing that but instead of that um well let's see I'm trying to think of exactly what the hell we're going to do because really okay I, I think I have an idea of what I can do yeah I have somewhat of an idea but I'm not entirely sure on that so I'm just not going to say anything because it could change because I'm not sure like I just said like freaking three times freaking stupid okay so yeah I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and you know for a couple more minutes or so fighting a couple enemies here and there and then from there we will end apart and get the hell out of the sky castle I'm guessing yeah now um there was one other thing I was going to say but for that I'm just gonna say that and you know for the next few videos and just say something just another you know big major thing I guess that you could say but yeah I am looking for, um, what is it? From this point on, I'll just tell you right now, Amplify Sense Volume 2, I have not seen any. And even though that's not until level 26, I mean, because there's not a lot, it's kind of important to just keep it in your inventory if you want to, you know, here and there. Because, yeah, you know, it's kind of important to have that. Volume 1, you can just buy it from an NPC, that's not a problem. But Volume 2, it drops from enemies in the 5th floor, and lately I haven't seen any of the Black Trader, which means that, well... If there's not going to be a lot, that means they're going to pretty much sell right away whenever somebody does put one in there. So you got to keep your eyes out, even though I'm, you know, pretty much two levels under that level in which I can equip the thing, you know, so. But yeah, I'm just I'm just saying that because, you know, I will, of course, be getting that when I'm level 26. Hopefully, you know, right when I become level 26, it would be good like that. But if not, then oh well, it's not the, it's not the end of the world. It's not. Just gotta keep waiting until my opportunity, or eventually just farm in the fifth floor. Although it's pretty damn dangerous farming in those higher levels because of high-level black and red names. But I'll just see, you know. I'll see what I'll do. I shouldn't really be talking too much about that, anyways, because I'm only level 24. So I guess I'll just be keeping that to myself. But yeah, not too much else about that, right? Not, no. That's pretty much it. So I guess I'm just gonna fight a couple more enemies, and I'm just probably end the part because it just makes sense to. So, yep, killing his iPod, and then, yeah, you know, getting your gold, okay, and I guess I'm just going to come down here to see if, wait, I don't even remember if I, hold on, okay, and I wasn't even remembering if I just recently fought the enemies down there or not, like, seriously, that was crazy, okay, so I'm just going to kill this iPod, and probably end the part, maybe, I guess, it makes, yeah, like, like I said, it makes sense to because I'm up to, like, 13 minutes or so. And I really should be ending- Dude, why am I taking so long to kill this damn thing? Like, seriously. Dude. Was it lag- No, I don't know. I'm just weak. I'm just weak, man. Okay. Give me your thingy. And, okay. You're gonna be the last one because you're right next to this thing. So, yeah. Kill you and end the par. That's for sure. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry the hell up. Kill the freaking enemy. Alright, so yeah. Goodbye, everybody, and until next time.